and gentlemen, welcome to the hallowed palestra on the campus of the University of Pennsylvania and the 1996 Catholic League Boys Basketball Championship game. The Cahalites of Roman Catholic wearing the gold with the purple trim and the Patriots of Archbishop Carroll red with the white trim. Curtis King for Roman to jump it up with Kevin Thompson of Carroll, Roman's ball. Donnie Carr into the lane, blocked by Thompson, gets his own rebound, misses again, and Busby rebounds. Good defensive start for Archbishop Carroll. They will need that, especially on Carr. Man to man, Dearborn, the open three, and Mike Hartman the rebound. Now it's Dearborn again, drives, blocked by King, the ball is loose, out of bounds. Roman won six championships in a row from 1989 through 1994. Last year's championship game, Carroll defeated Roman. Rafi Stevens blocked by Thompson again. So two blocks already by Kevin Thompson. That one, he came to help out. Just Kowiak playing Inglesby as he did in the team's first two meetings in the regular season both of which were won by Roman. Dearborn now looking for the three, can't get it. Carr playing the least offensive-minded player on the Patriots, Hartman. will try to stay out of foul trouble that way. Nice pass by Hartman. Inglesby off the glass. Martin Inglesby, the junior, the son of the coach, Tom Inglesby. 
Now it's Carr against Thompson. Again, a block shot for Thompson. It's loose. And the first foul of the game is on number 32, Mike Hartman. R.C. Kehoe, the point guard to inbound. It's Stevens. Now it'll be interesting to see how Carr reacts. He's had a couple shots blocked on him. Carroll in his zone out of the out of bounds play. Carr open. Hartman the rebound. Carr 0 for 4 thus far. Ingles being Dearborn. The pick from Thompson. Give and go. It was nicely fed to Thompson. Couldn't handle it out of bounds. Martin Inglesby to Thompson. He'll look to get it to other people, especially that far from the basket. It's Hartman and Inglesby out front now. Just Kowiak trying to lock up Inglesby. Martin was just 11 for 36 in the two regular season games. Now the block shot by Stevens against Thompson and Carr the rebound. Carr got caught and gives it up. Then we're going to have a jump ball. Dearborn and Curtis King involved. Possession goes to Carroll. Andy Busby, 30 feet from the basket, covered by Rafi Stevens. He can pass from out there. It's important to keep Stevens away from the board. He's a tremendous rebounder. Now Kevin Thompson spins his wheels. The traveling call. Not a whole lot of scoring thus far. 2-0. More than three minutes into the game. 4.48, left first quarter. Kehoe to long pass to Just Koyak. Dumps it for Rafi Stevens. And Just Koyak loses the rebound to Inglesby. Steal. Highlight film time. Two-two. Kehoe tries to pick Dearborn. Did with one hand, but pushed off with the other. And that's a foul on Kehoe. Now we have a whistle up court. Let's see. Referee Bill Koskinen going to talk to Kehoe and Dearborn. They were going at it a little bit. Donnie Carr off the schneid. See if that gets him rolling. Now it's Inglesby and Dearborn. Kehoe right up under Dearborn's chest. The give and go. Knocked away by Jess Kowiak. Carr recovers and throws it away. <laughs> Kevin Thompson penetrates the arc back to Hartman. Thompson again, dumps it to Busby. Turns, can't get a shot off. Dearborn, Kehoe right on him. And they reset with Hartman. Inside we have Curtis King on Busby for the most part. Dearborn, Thompson to follow. Can't get it in, but does draw the foul. He'll go to the line. Curtis King the personal. Thompson's board gives Carroll a 6-2 edge on the boards. Three to two, Patriots. There it stays as just Kowiak tracks down the ball in the corner. 
Now Roman. Only the one field goal so far off the steal and about a 60-foot drive by Carr. Punctuated by the dunk. Thompson on him way out front. He's going to try to operate. Left, right, loses the ball. It's on the floor. Dearborn tied up. And that'll be Roman's possession. Give Carr credit for a steal. Kehoe now covered by Inglesby. Both teams man to man all the way, except for the out of bounds play. Hartman caught holding off the ball. That's his second, so he'll be coming out. And Bill Phillips, the 6'7 junior, into the ball game. Kehoe on the inbounds. Carr blocked again by Thompson. Kevin Thompson doing it all so far on the defensive end. His fourth block, Kehoe can't get it in bounds. And Roman in trouble. Luckily, Carroll has only scored three points. It's three to two with 2.53 left, first quarter. Put that down somewhere. Kehoe. Gets it to Carr. Now back to three. Just Kowiak controls the rebound. Back to Carr. Just Kowiak for three. No good. Inglesby. Roman ice cold thus far. Inglesby. Can't get around just Kowiak. Now it's Thompson to Phillips, a 17-footer. Rebound, Curtis King. He's pushed by Busby. Token pressure here by the Patriots. Inglesby picks up Kehoe in the backcourt. Martin's father, Tom, an outstanding player at O'Hara, then at Villanova, played in the pros. The two-pointer, just Kowiak. On the pass from Kehoe. Tom won a championship on this floor as a player in 1968 with Cardinal O'Hara. Martin won one here last year with Carroll, his father, as the coach. Thompson, the blind pass, it gets to Inglesby. Now it's Thompson. He's going to have to shoot a couple of those, although he does make a nice pass there to Dearborn. Can't get it. Phillips on the foul, loses it. Dearborn gets it, misses. Phillips. Five to four, Carroll. Just over a minute now left, first quarter. Some decent action, even though there has not been much scoring. Carr gives it to Thompson. And Donnie Carr knocks it off his leg, I believe. No. Substitution now. Al Stevens checks in for Rafi Stevens. Both juniors, but they're not related. Now it's Carol Inglesby to inbound. Looking inside. Off Thompson's hand, Dearborn, Phillips wide open, doesn't take it. And Dearborn thinks, and a reset. Busby lost his footing, and he travels. Now, Rafi Stevens back in the game. A quick word from Coach Dennis Seddon, and Curtis King will sit down. Dennis Seddon in his 10th year with Roman. Looking for career victory number 259. 
Just Kowiak somehow gets it into Stevens. Busby on the rebound. Good job by Just Kowiak. Off balance. Got the ball inside where it should have been converted. It wasn't. Now it's Inglesby. Penetrates and retreats. We're down to seven seconds. I'm not sure he's aware of that. Dearborn inside the foul line. Thompson off the glass. Kevin Thompson takes advantage of the opportunity basket. Puts it in. At the end of one, the score, seven and four for Roman. Second quarter, Bill Phillips to inbound to Inglesby. And it's poked away by Jess Kowiak. Now it's just Kowiak, right wing. Can't get it to fall. Stevens, that's a specialty. Rafi Stevens lives on the offensive boards. You see an example right there. And it'll go to the line. Rafi Stevens ties it up. That last foul was on Kevin Thompson. Martin Inglesby has only taken one shot thus far. He made it. Now we have a switch. It'll be up to Kehoe to stop Inglesby. He can't do it, and he scores. You see the importance of just Kowiak staying with Inglesby. Nine seven Patriots. It's Kehoe out front. Now Carroll in his own. It's dangerous to play with the three point shooting ability of just Kowiak. Curtis King from Kehoe. Nine to nine. Just under seven minutes remaining. Dearborn for three. And it's Kehoe along the baseline, snuck in the back door. Carr, looking, not gonna take it. Gets three anyway from just Kowiak. Thompson, dumps it inside to Phillips. Sloppy pass though, and it's stolen by Rafi Stevens. Around Inglesby, behind his back, too strong. Phillips gets the rebound as he falls. Ahead to Inglesby, up and, ooh, air ball. It was touched by Roman on the way out, though. Jawan Justice checks in for Roman. 6.05 left, second quarter. Just Kowiak needs a breather. It's Thompson to Dearborn. Nicely done. Tom Dearborn on the weak side from Thompson. 12-11, Roman. Carr thought about it. And Kehoe does more than think about it. Stevens. Fourteen eleven, Kehalites. Now the pressure from Roman. Busby gets around Justice into the front court, and it's Inglesby. Kehoe playing him now. We'll look for Inglesby to penetrate here. Unless they're going to run a set play down low. It's Busby covered by Justice. Carr now on Dearborn. Some defensive switches. Inglesby gets away from Kehoe. Wide open for three. Can't get it. Thompson. And he travels. So the nice rebound by Kevin Thompson. Unable to avoid walking. Five oh five to the half. Fourteen eleven Roman. Just Kowiak finished his breather. He's back in. Carroll remains in the zone. Looks like a two one two two three depending. It's Curtis King finds the seam. Can't get it. 
It's Busby on the rebound. Dearborn, and a foul. Curtis King looking for the block, instead picks up his second foul. 4.42 to go. In the half, it'll be Tom Dearborn, a Drexel signee, one of two Division I signees in the lineup. Andy Busby, the other, he's going to Fairfield. Al Stevens checks in for King with the second foul. No good. Carroll within two, it's 14-12. Donnie Carr, only two points to this juncture on a dunk. Otherwise, he has missed six shots with four of them having been blocked. Now he's going to try it again. Forces off the glass, and it's Rafi Stevens. That's his third basket, all on follows. Bill Phillips throws it away. Kehoe, just Kowiak, way off balance as he took that shot. We're gonna stay here, we have a pushing foul underneath. Tom Dearborn, I think, was caught, we'll see. And it is, and it'll be Roman possession. 3.58 to go to the half. Kehoe, just Kowiak, Carr. Stevens, and it's Carr for three. That's off the glass and in. I'm sure he was not trying to do that. Not from that far, not at that angle. Now the scoreboard only has 18. His foot was behind a line, we thought, but let's see. Dearborn, hard to the hoop. It's an and one, he's going to the line. On the floor, a scramble. And it's Busby on the foul. Kehoe, just Kowiak, tries the three and gets it. It's 22 to 14. That's the danger of playing the zone against Roman. Just Kowiak can really heat it up with the threes. And he has two in this quarter. And it's 22 14 Roman. Tim Judge, a junior guard, number 22, into the ballgame now. Replaces Busby. Phillips way out front. Looking for those switches inside. Judge, left hand off the glass, misses. And Rafi Stevens sweeps. And he's gonna try it again. Short, just Kowiak. Judge with the rebound. Inglesby. Inglesby directing his teammates. It's Thompson. Phillips slides through the lane. Inglesby now, the nice move inside and gets the basket. Martin Inglesby, 2.23 left in the half. 22-16 Roman, it's Carr. Thompson has about a two inch height advantage. Carr shakes him that time, still can't put it down. And Thompson impressively gets back to the board for the rebound. Dearborn, Thompson, going to take it, tries, Carr, thievery, left-handed, oh, in and out. 
And it's Tim Judge ahead. Dearborn. 150 remaining. Now they're going to let Judge run the offense. Maybe Inglesby. Well, actually, he's kneeling down in the right corner on his hands on his knees, trying to catch his breath. It's Phillips. Thought about a shot. Instead to Dearborn. Dearborn. And it's Judge Dearborn. Carroll being patient here. Down to 120 left in the half. Judge with Carr on him. And gives it to Kehoe. He's going to shoot, and it's blocked by Judge. So Tim Judge turns it over at one end, makes a nice play at the other. Just Kowiak sits down and Jawan Justice back in. Carr as tight as you can possibly get. Draws the foul on the inbound pass from Kehoe. 104 left. Donnie Carr goes to the line. Donnie Carr, five points to this juncture. 2 for 11 from the floor. 0 for 1 he was. Now he's 1 for 2 at the line. 23-16. Roman. Justice now. Inglesby skirts him and scores. Kehoe wide open, 14 foot, and we have a foul. Jawan Justice crashed into the pile. He's going to get called for the foul. Just Kowiak back in for Kehoe. 33.9 seconds in the half. 23-18. Carroll's going to come out of the half in good shape. Barring a dumb turnover. They'll have the last shot. Chance to get within three. Perhaps. Or two. It's going to be Inglesby. We're down to ten. It's Dearborn. Back to Inglesby. Wide open is Judge. Inglesby's going to hold it. Shakes. Just, just Kowiak for a three. And just Kowiak call for going underneath. So, Inglesby will have a chance at three points the unconventional way. <laughs> Rasul Butler checks in for the first time, the sophomore for Roman. Just Kowiak sits down. Martin Inglesby, one down, two to go. Usually he's deaf at the foul line. Misses that one, however. Five point one seconds remaining. Spins in and out, and it's Alan Stevens with the board. Now Butler comes out, and he's called for walking. Two point two seconds. So Carroll only got one from the line, but the turnover is going to give him a chance at perhaps three. It's Judge to Inglesby. He's going to have to fire it and doesn't get it off. The ball was flicked away, recovered by Judge. No chance for a shot in time. And at the end of the half, it's Roman Catholic, 23. Archbishop Carroll, 19.
Welcome back. We're ready for the second half. Roman and Carroll, four points. Separation right now. Roman in favor. Roman in the lead, 23 to 19. It's Donnie Carr covered by Thompson. And inside we have Mike Hartman, a little too aggressive trying to keep Curtis King from maneuvering. That's his third. Bill Phillips standing up at Carroll's bench as if he's going to be called. Not being summoned at the moment. It's Carr now with Thompson. Takes him into the lane. Thompson tries for the block from behind and whacked him a little bit across the head. So Donnie Carr will go to the line. Donnie Carr, a first half to forget. Two for 11 from the floor. One for two from the line. Second half starting off the same way. Bricks the first free throw. One for two, five points is the lead. 24-19 Martin Inglesby covered by Just Kowiak. Dearborn behind the arc to his left. Rafi Stevens, Curtis King converge. And the foul will be called on Stevens. Tom Dearborn for two. He's really worked hard on becoming more than a jump shooter. Showed it there. Went to his left. Got himself to the foul line and scores two anyway. It's 24 21. Second half. Kehoe to Carr. Lost it momentarily. He recovers. And Kehoe almost lost it. He recovers. Stevens misses the easy basket. Rafi Stevens scores all days on follows. Can't make a first shot. Now it's Mike Hartman, Busby. He can hit that. He's got to take a couple of those. Dearborn. Carroll trying to set picks, trying to shake the defenders. Just Kowiak all over Inglesby. Now the back door, they don't see him. It's Busby. He does take the shot just off the back, the heel. Carr now with Hartman on him. For three, way too long, and it's just Kowiak. He's doubled. Dearborn knocks it free. Six minutes, Hartman to Dearborn. The drive again. The clean block up top by Curtis King, but something happened underneath. Curtis King called for the foul. Dennis Seddon wants a walking call. He's not going to get it. That foul is on King, that's his third. There was one foul in the first half, we weren't quite sure who it was called on. So that is only the third for Curtis King. Dearborn. Rattles the first one in. Clean for the second. Carroll within one, 24-23. Carr, a little closer this time, and he gets it. So, Donnie Carr, his first normal basket of the game. Twenty-six, twenty-three. it's Inglesby, up and in. Curtis King, not much of an offensive threat, especially out there. It's going to be Carr. Shakes Dearborn, dumps it inside to King. Nice play on both ends. 
28-25. Dearborn to Hartman. The give and go, the oldest play in basketball. It's gonna be Thompson. Nice penetration, leaves it short. And Rafi Stevens. His fifth rebound. Carr trying to shake and bake. Does, gets past Thompson and rattles it in. Donnie Carr starting to look like himself. Four and a half minutes remaining third quarter. 30-25, Roman. Kehoe now on Inglesby. Takes the three. And Thompson fouls King on the rebound. Foul number three on Thompson. It's loose. Recovered by King. He'll go to the line. Foul on Dearborn. I think they call that a brick. Curtis King had 12 block shots in the first meeting this year between Roman and Carroll. Makes the second. 31-25. A little bit of distance now, six points, but again, that's only two possessions with the three-point rule. Kehoe knocks it out of bounds. Roman Bench claiming that Kehoe was pushed as he tried to recover the ball after the tip. They're going to work the refs. Seddon and Inglesby are masters at it. It's part of the game. The referees know it. Let most of it go in one ear and out the other. It's Thompson at the top. Not a threat. But he can pass from there. He does the Dearborn. Dearborn dumps it in nicely to Busby. Can't make it. Gets his follow. Can't make that. Thompson blocked by King. Kehoe ahead. Does Kowiak. Timeout, Carroll. It's 33 25, Roman. 3.28 left, third quarter. has six people on the floor. Luckily, now let's see, the referees are gonna talk this over. They might hit Carroll with a T. I doubt it though, since the clock hadn't started. Unless they thought they were trying to get away with something. But anyway, Hartman sits down. We'll resume. Phillips inbounds to Dearborn, gives to Inglesby. Carroll now has to dig in. It's 33-25. Busby sets a pick. Inglesby can't make the three. Kehoe loses. And it's Carr. Now he'll look to work on Thompson. Takes the three. In and out. Now what's this foul? Busby probably. And it is. The push as Rafi Stevens rebounded. His third. Team Rafi. 257, Kehoe to inbound. It's Curtis King. Just Kowiak thought about a three. And Carr. Stevens. Yes. That's the second assist of the quarter for Carr. Dearborn now. 
in and out of Inglesby's hands. Turnover. 35-25. Roman looking to expand the lead some more. It's Carr. He has to be thinking pass first, the way his shooting's been going. There it is. But Phillips read the play, almost like a defensive back. Forces the jump ball and possession arrow, favors the Patriots. So Carr with the turnover. Carroll, Dearborn. Kehoe, the foul. Reached around. Alan Stevens checks back in. He'll replace Curtis King. Phillips, a little bit of trouble, gets it to Dearborn. I'm sorry, to Busby. Now it's Dearborn. Carroll needs some offense. Only six points in this quarter. Four from the line. Carroll bodies Phillips. Dearborn in tight, and he'll go to the line. Allen Stevens called for the foul, I believe. <laughs> Dearborn, on a little bit of a run at the line, that's five in a row. 35-26. And again. Still in the man-to-man. -man. Just Koyak out front. Be interesting to see how Roman plays this last minute and a half. If they run some clock or play aggressively. Carr now. Going to take Thompson. Still outside the arc. Now he's close. And he stepped on the baseline. Donnie Carr, the turnover. Got in a little bit too deep. 125 left. Busby to Dearborn. Trying to take some of the ball handling pressure off of Inglesby. Now he gets it. Just Kowiak counting his teeth as always. It's Phillips. Oh! Carr thought he had a steal. Not so. One oh seven it'll be. Dearborn tries for Thompson. Kevin, nice job to recover, spins to his left. And Carr called for another foul. Kevin Thompson will shoot two substitutions for Roman Rasul Butler. Checks in for Alan Stevens. And for Carroll, his first appearance of the evening, Mike Sullivan, senior guard. Not even close. Thompson shooting that ball from about 15 and a half feet on the first one. Now he moves up. And makes. 35-28. Inglesby returns the favor. Locks on to just Kowiak. Trouble getting rid of it. Phillips, nice play. Bill Phillips. Tipped the ball, lunged for the save. Got it back into Inglesby. Now it's Dearborn. Thought about trying to take Carr, instead gives to Inglesby. Tom Inglesby indicating it's all right to go for a shot now instead of holding for the last. Thompson and Phillips beyond the arc. Inglesby did get free there, and just Kowiak had to grab him to prevent an easy attempt. One and 
one. Martin Inglesby makes. It's a good thing for Carroll. There is such a thing as free throws. Only one field goal in the quarter. The rest of the points from the line. That's the ninth. Back within five, it's 35-30. Kehoe over. Dogged by Sullivan. Down to 20, Roman will hold for the last. Just Kowiak and Kehoe, Carr playing out front. Now we have a whistle, and it's Mike Sullivan away from the ball, impeding Kehoe's attempt to cut through the lane. One more team foul, and Roman will also be in the one-on-one. -on -one. Stevens, just Kowiak standing by himself underneath. No one sees him. Kehoe does finally, and he scores. Just Kowiak was camped out down there. Sullivan now. He's going to have to give it to Dearborn. A heave, and it's off balance. No good. At the end of three, Roman, 37, Carroll, 30. Fourth quarter. Roman trying to protect the lead. Kehoe doubled, gets it to Stevens. Off the glass and in. Nice job there by R.C. Kehoe. His sixth assist of the game. Carroll down nine. Thompson to Inglesby. He's open for one of the few times all night. Can't get the three. In and out. Frees himself. Too long. Curtis King to follow. And Kehoe tries to follow. He'll go to the line. The foul's on Mike Sullivan. Busby checks back in for Phillips. Kehoe has not scored tonight. Has only taken four shots from the floor. That was his first from the line. But still a presence. Forty to thirty, a ten point lead. Just Kowiak on Inglesby. I think we've said that before. King with the block there on Thompson. The rebound by Stevens. Carr now controlling again. The three, yes. Donnie Carr, three-pointer. Carroll in trouble. 641 remaining 43 to 30 Roman Catholic <laughs> Carol needs to get some threes that's the quick way to get back in today's game of basketball. Inglesby. He's going to take a two and make it. Just Kowiak lost him briefly, and you can see what happens. Inglesby for two. 43-32. It's going to be Carr. And he's going to go to the line. Donnie Carr 
taking over the ball game. Fourth foul on Thompson. Forty four thirty two six oh four remaining. Roman Catholic looking for its seventh championship in eight years. Knocks it down. Forty five thirty two. Carroll with 32 points to this point. Down 13, a little unrealistic to expect enough of a comeback that quickly, but I doubt they'll stop trying. Again, it's Carr up top. He's gonna try to take Thompson at some point. Gives it to Kehoe. Just Koyak standing by himself on the far side. They don't see him. Phillips was laying in the lane. He still is. Carr around Thompson. Gives to Stevens. And the foul. If that's Kevin Thompson, he's done. And it is. So Kevin Thompson's going to depart here with 5.15 remaining. A nice job defensively, especially early in the game. Kevin Thompson picks up his fifth. Shake hands with Curtis King on the way to the bench. Tim Judge will be the replacement. Carr will go to the line. This could be a long 5-15. Carroll's going to have to foul and try to hit threes as we head towards the finish line. Misses, and it's Busby. Down 13. Inglesby looking for a three. Instead, he penetrates. And Tim Judge. Foul line jumper. Just off. Busby keeps it alive. The miss and Carr the rebound. Dearborn now will have to cover Carr. That's not a match. Carr much too fast for him. Misses the shot though. And Curtis King tries to save it. Phillips recovers. Dearborn. And one. Rafi Stevens. Sloppy defensive work there. And it'll be three-point attempt for Dearborn. Should be 35 on the board for Carroll. There it is, 45-35. And Dearborn trying to stick Carr. He picks up a foul, that's his third. Team foul, number... Let's see here, this should be two shots, I think. And it is. The double bonus in effect, the rest of the way. Carr makes the first. No good, scramble. Off just Kowiak, out of bounds. Team rebound favors the Patriots. 46-35, 420 left.
Carr now up to 17 points. Inglesby, King with a block. Carr the rebound. So that's a couple times now. Carroll was in position to maybe launch a three. It would have been a little bit forced, but they got to start going for points here. Inglesby with the steal from Carr. Now Dearborn for three. There's one. Tom Dearborn hits the three on the pass from Inglesby. 46-38. Roman still leads it, but wants to talk it over. 46-38. Car to inbound now, 340 left. Kehoe stripped, mad scramble. Inglesby, beautiful play by Martin Inglesby. Knocked it free, dove on the ball, had the presence of mind to call timeout while doing so. Carroll now with momentum. Tim Judge to inbound, Dearborn. Now what do you do? Do you just play straight up or do you still go for threes? We'll see how Carroll chooses to approach it. Just Kowiak, of course, on Inglesby. Phillips, wide open. He can shoot, maybe not from that far away though. Inglesby's gonna have to do it. Ah, just missed, Curtis King the rebound. So Inglesby took it in, the little flip shot. No good, and Carr. <laughs> Foul on Andy Busby. That looked clean from here. Tom Inglesby out of the coaching box. Still giving Koskinen an earful. Now you see Tom just going back finally to, oh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna sit down. That's foul number four on Busby. Curtis King. Forty-seven thirty-eight. Loose Busby. Inglesby. To the glass. King the block. Out of bounds. Five blocks for Curtis King. He had 12 earlier. The team's first meeting, which started the league season. 245, Judge lost it, recovers. Kehoe the reach. 40 feet from the basket. Not a good idea. Tim Judge at 5'11 last week, high jumped 6'4 to win the Catholic League Indoor Championship. This is a one and one. Can't get it. And Kehoe with the rebound. Car covered by Inglesby. Briefly, he gets around him. Two and a half. They double and Judge made the tip there. Inglesby's gonna try to draw a foul. No, he comes out. Thought he might try to force one up there just to get to the line. Judge off the glass. Oh! Could not have been in anymore. It kicks out. Nice move by Judge. Can't get it to fall. Inglesby, the foul, his first. <laughs> Kehoe now, the double bonus, makes. 203 remaining, Roman Catholic. Looking to get back into the winner's circle. Four 
Phillips. Now you shoot a three where the coach shoots you. Down 10 with just under two. B Busby can't control the pass from Inglesby. Stevens gets it. And I would think that's going to do it. Barring some major screw-ups by the Cahillites. And there's one. A long out of control pass by Kehoe. Picked off by Phillips. Rafi Stevens fouls him. Now offensive defensive substitution for Carroll. Sullivan checks in. He'll be in here to take a foul. Phillips to the line. Forty-eight, thirty-nine, Roman. It's short. Kehoe in the scramble. And he's fouled. Dearborn. That's his fourth. Judge back in for Sullivan. Kehoe, seven rebounds, six assists. The lead back to 10. Eleven. Fifty to thirty-nine. Inglesby now, Dearborn, many picks, set. Judge is going to have to do it for three. From Inglesby. Timeout. 128 left. Fifty to forty-two. One twenty-eight. Carr triple teamed in the backcourt. Just Kowiak ahead to Stevens. And did he walk? Yes, he did. Rafi Stevens gets a little excited. Takes the hop step. Carroll now looking for another three. Tim Judge to inbound. To Inglesby. Now Busby already trying to size up a pick. There it is. Judge covered by Kehoe. It's up. In and out. Stevens the board. Again the walk to the other end. B. Stevens, 11 points, make that 12, he has 10 rebounds. <laughs> 52, 42, just over a minute. Roman about to win the championship for the seventh time in eight years. Judge for three. No good, Phillips is going to score on the follow. <laughs> Foul again. Phillips. <laughs> Jakob, just Kowiak. Count it. Of course, the good defense. Also, 14 points. 
54-44. Inglesby lost his footing. Judge launches. Stevens the block. And the recovery by Just Kowiak. Roman Catholic is about to be your 1996 Catholic League champion. There you see the fans behind the basket, the we, we're number one chant. People already starting to file out of the building. Just Kowiak misses the foul shot. Fifty-four, forty-four. Up and in. Thirty seconds. Inglesby misses the three, and it's Carr. Now the run out. I would know he would love to dunk. Busby won't let him. The foul, and that's the fifth on Andy Busby. So he'll be sitting down. Donnie Carr going to the line. Mike Daly checks in. Number 14, his first appearance, a senior. Nice gesture by Inglesby to get Mike Daly into the game. Practiced hard every day. His contributions much appreciated by the coaching staff. Donnie Carr. 56-44. Two for two. The lead is 13 now. Dearborn for three. Off the glass and in. Tom Dearborn with the long three. NBA distance. Again, foul shots coming. Tim Judge had the foul. Substitutions for Roman now. Rasul Butler replaces just Kowiak. And Rafi Stevens goes out. Curtis King goes out. Mike Kennedy in the ball game. 11.5 left. R.C. Kehoe at the line again. He misses. And Donnie Carr will go out in favor of Dennis Hobbs. There you see Donnie Carr, number 42, had a woeful first half, played much better in the second, got his team to a championship. Carr, I'm sorry, Kehoe, the brick at the line, and it's recovered by Inglesby. Way ahead to Phillips, to Judge. And he's going to hold on to the ball, make no attempt. Here comes the mad stampede by the Roman fans, and that'll do it. From the palestra, Roman Catholic, 57. Archbishop Carroll, 47. Defense did it, the job Jimmy just Koyak did on Martin Inglesby, very crucial. The offensive rebounding of Ras Rafi Stevens, crucial. The comeback by Donnie Carr in the second half, crucial. Add all that together, and from the palestra, your final, Roman, once again, 57. Carroll, 47. Thank you for watching. Joe Malizia, your cameraman, director, producer. Tom McKenna on stats. And we'll say goodnight, the 1996 Catholic League champions, the Cahalites of Roman Catholic High School.